let's talk about why you need to have financing in place before looking for a home. I'm Peter Mazzola with Real Estate SINY. Here's a topic that I come across almost on a daily basis. The phone rings, an excited home buyer tells me all about what they are looking for, what they dream of as far as a perfect home. The type of home, the neighborhood, the amount of rooms, the flooring, everything. After telling me about their dreams and expectations, along with how soon they want to be in their dream home, they will usually ask, when can we start looking at homes? There's nothing like looking at homes. It's exciting. You're actually seeing the future, getting a glimpse of what the next chapter of your life is going to be like. It's pretty awesome. It's all very fun until you get excited about a home and then want to make an offer. But you can't. You didn't feel the need to have financing in place before we started looking. Maybe your friends told you it isn't necessary, probably told you not to do it, you know, like because the real estate agent is going to try to use all your money and rip you off. Or maybe you went online and read one or two articles that misinformed you about the reality of the market. Or when I initially introduced the need to do so, you might have felt overwhelmed and figured you would just get the financing when you found what you were looking for. Here's the real world problem that arises from not having financing in place. Number one, your friends or family told you not to let anybody know how much you have to spend. That's awesome that you have people around that want to protect you, but the problem is that this is not a used car lot, you know? Don't let them know you love it or don't let them know how much you have to spend. Here's the deal. It will work in your favor to know exactly how much you are qualified for in order to realistically position yourself to achieve your real estate goal. Number two, you went online and write all about how it really works. That's fine. We all look online, we all look things up. It's pretty cool how we can obtain information from random people that may or may not have the real world experience or expertise. So I think you'll actually agree it is best to actually speak to somebody who does this for a living. Someone who does this every day. Number three, when I initially introduced the idea to you, asking if you were pre-approved, have any questions or concerns about the process, need to be referred to a licensed professional that can prepare you financially so that you have financing in place, you might have decided I was trying to sell you something or get all of my friends in the industry involved to get as much money out of you as possible. Here's the truth. Buying a home is a big job. Agents, brokers, attorneys, loan offices, banks, engineers, appraisers. You eventually will be in your dream home through the efforts of a team of professionals that will mostly be paid only when you are completely satisfied and happy with your decision. So the theory of industry professionals ripping you off or trying to make you do something you don't want to do is indeed not the case. We all check each other's progress and documents and decisions. When you buy a home, you are monitored, protected, and guided thoroughly. That is all well and good, but when I introduce the idea of financing, it's not to benefit anyone else but you. I don't need to be financed. The bank or my mortgage affiliates don't need to be financed. You do. I'm helping you. From the moment we speak, meet, text, or email, my only job is to educate, guide, and advise you so that we can reach your goal. Why do I introduce financing to you? We're in a market, don't worry, I'm not going to bore you with all numbers, where it is in your best interest to be prepared with all of the tools necessary to get you what you need and want. It's that simple. If you wait, like if you find a home and love it and want it, now you say to me that you are going to get financed and then we'll make an offer. Guess what? Your dream home is gone. Somebody that was prepared already took it from you. Goodbye dream home. Now you are mad at me. You think that's fair? Better yet, do you think it's fair that you cheated yourself and maybe your family out of your own dreams? Think about it. Go get financed. Find out how much you can play with. You see what you like and we can make an offer or we don't have to do anything. It's like going to the mall and having money in your wallet. You see something you like but it might not be in the store tomorrow. But if you buy nothing, then you still have the money in your wallet. Why would you set yourself up for failure? So here's what you could do. If you're thinking about moving, looking for the first home, or looking to buy for any other reason anytime soon, call me, text me, email me, go online and research. Get the opinions of your friends and family. I do the same thing, everybody does. But when it's time to seriously move forward with the process of buying a home, contact me. Allow me to make you an expert as we work together to find your next home. Since you did make the time to watch this video, I will certainly make the time for you to explain exactly how the entire process works and answer any other questions and concerns that you might have for me. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so that you will get all the latest updates from Real Estate SANY. Thank you for watching.